Today we're going to be doing the install for the Honda Talon drip rails from Wicked Pecker Off-Road. First off, you're going to need a few items. You're going to need the drip rails, of course. Some various pinch clamps. A roll of tape is very helpful. A tube of silicone adhesive. You use the black Permatex or you can use 3M silicone adhesive. I use isopropyl alcohol for cleaning off the roof before the install so everything sticks good. And a roll of paper towels for doing that cleaning. Uh, a length of half inch inside diameter clear hose. You can pick up at any hardware store along with the RTV. Uh, you're going to need about five to six feet of the hose. Uh, it's going to run down the A-pillar and into the fender to drain. And let's get started. First thing we're going to do is take some of our isopropyl alcohol, clean off the roof well so everything will adhere. There's other cleaning products you can use, probably something you have laying around. You want to make sure you get underneath this front lip really good so it all sticks there. And of course you go back past this line in the roof, underneath, make sure it's nice and clean. The next thing you're going to do is line everything up. So you want your drip rail to be right underneath the edge here, lined up with the bottom corner, and you want the front to line up on the top with the rest of the roof and to be in line. This is where your pinch clamps are going to come in handy. So you get everything lined up. It fits nicely right around this edge. It also goes up just even with this corner of the roof with this 45 degree down it'll catch everything running down the roof off this side right here all the way down and take it to the front corner and out so what i like to do is mark this with a piece of tape where that back edge is so you know where to put your adhesive Now you can pull that off, grab some of your clamps, and just figure out how you're going to position the clamps uh, once you get it all in place. You have plenty of working time with the adhesive, so it's not, you're not going to be rushed. It's not like uh, uh, super glue or anything. And you can just figure out your various clamps what you're gonna be using. You're gonna be putting one clamp right up here. You're gonna push this up and make sure that it's sealed up on the bottom and that top edge is lined up. So be clamping that like that. And then here, you need a smaller clamp to go in. You want a good press fit all the way along here. It kind of bends and fits the contour of the roof as it goes in. If someone has previously drilled holes in the lip up here uh, to drain out on the windshield, which doesn't work very well, by the way, with a Super ATV flip-up windshield, because you have a big gap right here. Well, all that water drips right down in that gap and it runs in anyway. So if you have one of those um, and someone has drilled the holes, you can just put a little piece of tape on the bottom of the holes and fill those in with the black silicone while you're doing this. Um, and then once it's set up, pull the, pull the tape off and you're good to go, those holes are plugged up. So once you're sure that everything is set in place, you can pull the clamps back off and get ready to apply your silicone. So first off, we're gonna fill, cover this whole area right here with silicone adhesive. You don't wanna to go too crazy with it, but you wanna get plenty on there as well. Um, I don't use the applicator. I get about a sixteenth of an inch or so bead all around that. All the way up to that front edge. There. 
then we can take and wipe that around just a little bit to make sure we get all the surfaces covered up to the top. That's a reason we have our tape back here so you don't make a mess. And you want to spread it somewhat evenly. It'll spread itself out some, but you don't want any real high spots or anything when you're done applying it. All right. Get it cleaned off. Now, on the drip rail itself, try to get this where you can see it. This lip around here, you don't want to go overboard with it. But you just want to get a little bit in that groove. And again, it's nothing permanent, it's silicone adhesive, so it'll clean up afterward. You'll have plenty of chances to wipe off excess. You definitely don't want to get too much in there and fill that hole up. But if you do, it can always be, you run a drill bit or something through there to clean any silicone out if it dries in there. So we got that lip. Just want to get it spread out in there a little bit. Again, once it smacks, squishes out at the edges, you can wipe that off afterward. Make sure you get enough in there where you don't have any holes because we're doing this to get rid of the water coming in. We don't want to add water coming in. So once you have the silicone all inside of that lip, hopefully you can see that, and you have it smeared up here, you carefully position the front there and the back right here. the bottom edge right even with it and press in. You can kind of move that around a little bit just to even out all the adhesive. Get that the bottom, make sure that bottom lip goes all the way up and squeezes the adhesive in there and you're not overlapping too far there. nice to see just a little bit of squish out all the way around but again if not the little gaps in there you can always come back after you pull the clamps off the next day and add a little bit of adhesive with your finger in there just to fill in any gaps so that's going to stay up there now it's stuck rather well we'll take our bigger clamp and put it right here Lining up that edge really nice. And you can get these pinch clamps at any home improvement store or hardware store if you don't already have some. Twist that around, line up that upper edge in the front and put a pinch clamp on there. Make sure that edge stays nice and lined up. Then you can come in here your other clamps and add those as needed. The more pressure you get on it, the more secure it will be. You don't need to go overboard though. And once it's set up, we're going to come back in here. I'm going to run a piece of tape across this bottom edge about an eighth of an inch, an inch or so away. And then right along the face of this, I'll cover that up with tape all the way along it. And then on this back edge, of course, this is already taped. Um, and then we're gonna come in, you know, make sure that tape doesn't get in between what we put on there before. Um, you can come in the top you can get a Q-tip or something and run a bead across there if you want. Run a bead across the bottom, across this edge, uh, across the back, across there, and make sure the bottom's sealed up really good. 
But for now, looks like we're good right there. Now all we have to do is let it sit overnight and dry. This piece of tape we can take off because we're done. There's that for now. So there you have it, super easy install. We'll finish up and I'll continue the video after it dries tomorrow. All right, it's the next day and our adhesive is set up. So we're gonna pop these clamps off. And then we're gonna go around here. See, it's on there. I can move the entire roof. It's not going anywhere. Uh, we can clean this up, do a little chamfer on the edges. Uh, so we're gonna take a little bit of tape. We already have a piece here on the edge. And I'm gonna put this about an eighth of an inch away. from the edge of that. I'm gonna do the same thing across here. So we can get a nice little bead of adhesive across there. Just to clean it up, keeps the, the dirt and mud out of the crack so it's easier to clean. And makes a nice solid platform for it. Press it down really good. Put a piece across the bottom of that as well, just to make it nice and clean. And then we're also gonna do the same thing on the side over here in front. This machine also has a small hole right here that was drilled in it. Uh, this piece of tape will also cover that up so we can dab a little adhesive from the backside, fill that in since we don't need it anymore. Just gonna take our adhesive and we're gonna put some on our finger and run it right down this little junction here. Nice clean. Position. And we'll do the same thing right here. And the third time on this front corner. Sorry, I'm probably right in the way of the camera there. Take a little dab and put it on the back side of that hole. Fill it in nicely. Now we can come in here and pull our tape off. And that leaves a nice clean chamfered edge. And then I'm also going to come in here and right across this bottom edge, I want to fill that in just to make sure our transition between the drip rail and the roof is filled in. Again, makes it easier to clean 
dust, dirt gets up in there. So you take a piece of half inch inside diameter clear tubing and you'll run it right down the A pillar. It's about two and a half feet long and you just stick it inside of this opening in the fender and that will run down inside the fender and run out of the vehicle. And then you can come along here and secure it with a couple zip ties. Fit them on loosely so you don't crush the tubing. Um, two zip ties is plenty. Maybe secure one right here and one down near the bottom just to keep it from flopping around. And that goes down inside of the fender, dumps out, comes out underneath the machine. Uh, and there you go. You have your drip rail installed, rinse and repeat for the opposite side. Over here, I have another machine that I've had these on for oh, about a year um, after research and development, and they have been all over the place, uh, through the woods, on the interstates, um, thousands of miles on the interstates, and hauling it, and uh, thousands of miles through the woods, trees, rocks, everything else, every condition imaginable, and they're they're still on there really well. Um, and I've never clamped that there. Again, I did a little little chamfer here. I said this has been on there over a year. Um, there's a little. You know, it's kind of hard to see back there, but there's a little chamfer there. Uh, clean it up across the bottom exactly like I did the other one. Um, you have all the water comes down the roof right here. Um, hits the rain gutter. Runs over. Again, you have over an inch and a half deep here in this corner. Um, but that's where 99% of the water runs down. And if you're tipped on the side a little bit off canter, it can run down here, but that catches it on this roof line, catches it, runs it right down. And this is, as you can see, doesn't stick up more than the roof does, but you still have the gutter that runs all the way down. A uh, nice clean install. Uh, you don't even really notice they're there until your passenger says, why isn't my leg getting wet? And it does in bobs side by side. Anyway, that's our install. Uh, check our other videos out for our other installs. We have the Honda Talon emblem install down here on the sides back in the hood. Uh, we have our dash panel install, which is right here. And we'll be doing a heater install soon. Here's our heater install, sneak peek at that. We're gonna be installing it on the other machine. Um, it's in the shop here. So stay tuned, like and subscribe, help us out on our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.